Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we want to derive an equation for potential energy, kinetic energy, and the total energy of an electron revolving in a specific Bohr's orbit. To derive these equations, we need to know the equation for velocity of an electron and the radius of the orbit. These two equations we have derived in the previous video lessons. If you are not familiar with them, please look into the previous video. Anyway, to remind you, the last of an electron in a given orbit is 2 pi ke square by h of z by n, where 2 pi is a constant, k is also a constant who is actually equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. E is the charge of an electron, that is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb. H is the Planck's constant. Z is the atomic number, that's the number of the protons inside the nucleus. N is the principal quantum number. Similarly, radius of the orbit is h square by h is a constant, Planck's constant. 4 pi square is also a Planck constant. K is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, as it is being said earlier. E is the charge of an electron. N is the principal quantum number. Z is the atomic number. M is the mass of the electron. So, knowing these two equations, we can further start deriving equations for, let us start with kinetic energy of an electron. We want to derive an equation for the kinetic energy of an electron in a given orbit. We know anyway, whenever electron is moving with a velocity in a given orbit, we know the standard formula as kinetic energy as half mv square. And we know the equation for velocity already. Let us just substitute that value half m. This is the value of that v. 2 pi k square by h z by n is the velocity half m v square. Therefore, there is a square. So, simplifying this equation further, half m 4 pi square k square e power 4 by h square and z square by n square. So, we can further simplify it a little and we can get an equation as potential energy as 1, 2 can be cancelled. So, the remaining value will be something like 2 pi square k square e power 4 by h square were all constants and the variables are actually z square by n square and of course m is also there into m z square by n square so we can say kinetic energy of an electron is directly proportional to z square by n square after deriving the equation for kinetic energy, let us proceed further to the equation of a potential energy. So now our aim is to derive an equation for the potential energy of an electron in a given orbit. This potential energy is nothing but an electrostatic potential energy. So because these are the charges that electrostatic potential energy is, we know there is a formula, minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, that we are calling it like k in all these derivations. Q1 is ZE, that is the charge of the, total charge of the protons inside the nucleus. Q2 is the charge of an electron by R itself. So where R is the radius of an orbit. So the first thing that we need to notice is, we have given a negative sign to it. Negative sign of a potential energy is a symbolic way of saying that electron is associated with the system. So the basic formula that what we have used is actually 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r is the formula, general formula for the electrostatic potential energy. We are adding a negative sign only to say that it's a default way even gravitational potential energy is also being said like negative. The symbolic way of saying that the electron is associated with the nucleus. So, 
the moment the electron move in higher and higher orbits this potential energy increases from negative at infinite orbit this potential energy becomes zero it will never become a positive at all yeah now let us substitute the value of that radius we have derived in the previous video lessons into this equation in this formula let us substitute so electronic potential electrostatic potential energy is minus k z e and e by r this is the value of the r h square by 4 pi square k e square n square by m z rearranging the terms i will get minus k z e square 4 pi square k e square m z by h square and n square so again if you rearrange the terms it will be something like electrostatic potential energy is minus 4 pi square there is k and k two k's k square that is e square and e square that is e power 4 by h square dm there is z and z that is z square by n square that's the formula for the electrostatic potential energy of the electron in a given orbit let us now calculate after electrostatic potential energy electron in this orbit is having these two energies potential energy and kinetic energy by adding these two we will get the total energy of an electron hence total energy of an electron in a given orbit is actually sum of potential energy and kinetic energy so if you add both of them potential energy and kinetic energy so what is the extra term that it is there is this is minus 4 pi square this is 2 pi square you can see here minus 4 pi square 2 pi square everything else is common k square e power 4 h square mz square by n square they are all common therefore minus 4 pi square plus 2 pi square becomes automatically minus 2 pi square minus 2 pi square k square e power 4 by h square into m z square by n square that's the equation for the total energy because this is only variable term everything else is same minus 4 pi square plus 2 pi square is minus 2 pi square so if you want to write the ratio of these energies the ratio of electrons potential energy kinetic energy and total energy right if you write that value potential energy minus 4 pi square everything else is same kinetic energy plus 2 pi square total energy minus 2 pi square as all other terms cancels this is only going to remain minus 2 is to 1 is to minus 1 is the ratio of potential energy to kinetic energy and the total energy of an electron in a given orbit so the point that we need to understand is total energy is negative potential energy is also negative kinetic energy is positive and all these energies are whether potential energy or kinetic energy or total energy is directly proportional to z square by n square where z is the atomic number and n is the principal quantum number thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons thank you